Welcome back to Studio Lou on this kind of dim and rainy day. It's Cindy and I'm here again with another journal flip through video. This is the third in my Gnome Inspired journal video um, series and book series. So this is number three and it is um, a journal that I created in this lovely Enid Blyton pop-up picture book. So I got this um, book a bit ago. It was only ever sold, interestingly enough, in Australia, New Zealand, and South Africa. So it made its journey here to Canada. And um, some of the pop-ups inside of it were kind of broken. It wasn't in perfect condition, so I decided it would be a great candidate for a journal. So it has four signatures, and it has this visible binding with these lovely stitches on the spine. And um, it's been fabric-bound with a lovely cotton. And... Um, so this book is going to open sort of horizontally, uh, top to bottom, instead of like a side to side journal. Although really you could write in this book any way that you want to. It doesn't really matter. Um, so there's a metal eyelet through both of the covers and um, through it I've just used this um, cotton ribbon that I've just kind of sewn down and it's... Um, it just sort of can slide back or you can take it right out while you're writing if you want. It doesn't really matter either way. So we'll see if we can make sure that everything gets in frame here. Um, let me just see if I can zoom out a little bit here. Hold on two seconds. Oh, that's actually not too bad. Okay. Um, we'll see. Okay, anyways, so I might just kind of go up and down because I can't manage to zoom out right now for some reason. Um, so inside this journal, the first um, inside pocket is this lovely little picture of these little mushroom people uh, sitting underneath a big mushroom. And it has an acorn here, and this is a pocket. And behind it is this lovely um, mushroom image. And inside this envelope that's made, um, it's a scrappy envelope made from this bird paper, there is a couple of things. So one is this note from me, the bookmaker, and the other is um, this, this little journal card. And on the back it just says, enjoy the little things. And so those just both tuck inside there for writing on. Them in there, and that just goes right in this little side tuck area. And then here we have um, from the original book. This is this Noah's Big Ears, and it talks about him a little bit. And then here we have um, a vintage, um, these are a bunch of nature cards. This one has got like some sort of ocean life and coral on it. And this is a little botany cyanotope. And here we have a belly band of um, a gnome that's got some knitting needles. And inside there is a journal card of this gnome who's overseeing a, a honey operation. And that just slides in there. And here we have a little salmon. And a bird. And this is a vintage bird card and below um, it's a sandpiper and below we have a coffee dyed envelope that I dyed and a bee there and you open it on up and there is a journal card inside with this little gnome. There we go. And then this little weasel and um, this is some handmade strawberry and flower paper, and it's like a bottom pocket on some of my coffee dyed um, large format encyclopedia illustration paper. And this is a butterfly, or a moth actually, and it's a journaling card. And over here we have um, some preserved flowers inside acid-free paper that's actually a card that you can write in. 
And then this upper tuck made from handmade paper. It's a yellow paper with some flower petals in it. And then this journaling card. And this is a page from a book called The Tiny Seed by Eric Carle. Really nice illustrations. He's the author and illustrator of The Hungry Hungry Caterpillar. And then over here we have this um, Oiseau. It's a French uh, illustration, bird illustration page. And then here is some iron and eco printed paper that I dyed. This one is so fun because it had this little hole in it um, from being uh, basically just immersed in water. There was a little bit of a rusty, um, I use these big rusty, what are they? They're like rail ties and so it was sitting kind of heavily here and when I lifted up the paper it just kind of caused this little hole and I was going to do something with it but then look it's so cute the little hole it just shows this little bird so I couldn't I couldn't mess with it it was just so cute so you also see the imprint of a big um, cog here so these are some of the iron pieces that I use when I'm doing different dyeing techniques on my papers and it's heavyweight watercolor paper, so the structure of it isn't affected in any way. And this little porcupine, um, this <laughs> this actually is a really sweet illustration that I got from a vintage uh, nature book. But I, I had just, when I was finishing these journals, I had just returned from a vacation in rural Quebec. And for the very first time, I saw my first in the wild porcupine and he was sitting actually just like this up in a tree that was probably about eight feet above my head and I was just sort of like I saw him from afar and I thought at first he was in a it was a squirrel's nest but it was this cutie and he was just sitting up there and it was so sweet so yeah they're so cute but I guess they're kind of like unhuggable teddy bears but so cute so Anyhow, this is a page from a coloring book. Um, it's the story of Pandora, and it has these really beautiful illustrations. I use them throughout this series. Lots of fungi and other great things. And this is just a little duckling waiting to jump out of his hole into the water. And more of that eco paper, eco printed paper. This one's really nice because um, I was using some roses and they had some really nice uh, bleeding effects. And the other side of that French paper that um, has all the bird illustrations. And another vintage bird card. And on this side we have a side tuck with these little stacked up gnome friends. And inside here is this um, journaling card. And so it is on this lovely uh, linear paper. And it has this little mushroom girl here. And this is actually a Japanese um, sticker that I, that I got some time ago. And this page is another page from the tiny seed and it has this pocket here it's a side pocket and it's about gnomes and their relationship with fennel and there are really funny kind of um plant medicine uh <laughs> references throughout this series because um from the gnome book that i used to create these which i talk about in the first of these uh series of videos if you haven't seen the first video maybe check it out after this i talk about where i came across all of the uh, material to make these journals and so um, there's lots of plant medicine and it's really funny so there's a journal card in there with a little fish on it coffee dyed paper and this is a belly band with a gnome talking to a little, well, a, a couple of gnomes actually, with a baby duck and a little guinea pig showing their lovely relationship with nature. And this is an, another journal card with a gnome and a mushroom and he's processing gold. And then just some little uh, starlings here. And um, this is an Ernst Haeckel illustration. And then just this beautiful botanical. And some more botany images. This one has thorns and tendrils. They're all cyanotope. And just um, a little botanical. 
and some lovely scrapbook color paper. And on this side we have some helicopters. And this is more of my eco printed paper. And that was a, obviously a leaf that you can see. And then over here we have an illustration of a leaf and then some pretty grasses. And here is a bit of um, botanical with maybe some little grapes or berries. And on this side is a pocket with um, some illustrations from an original gnome book of uh, different berries and nuts and fruits. And in here we have a large journal card with a gnome feeding a little mouse. And this is on a botanical piece of paper. And then these are just some more um, plant images and some nice spotted paper. And some lovely birds. And this page has been sewn on and I've just left this string long. You can cut it if you like to, but I like to kind of leave a few strings here and there. It gives it that handmade feel. And some uh, fabric with some bees. And this is a side tuck with a couple little mushroom or uh, toadstools and some gnomes. And it's, um, this is actually a seahorse. This is some of my hand dyed paper that I dyed with cabbage leaves. And this is a journal card that's been collaged. And there's a gnome just sort of feeding his little friends. Avocado paper, avocado dyed paper. And this is an insect um, science drawing page. And over here, just a botanical illustration and some cabbage dyed watercolor paper. This one's really got a beautiful patina. And more botanicals, more insects and avocado paper. Lots of dyed paper, lots of journaling space. Uh, this is a belly band with an elder blossoms and self healing. Um, this is all about uh, plant medicine because gnomes are very into sort of foraging for plant medicine and food. And then a vintage bird card and um, some more botanical and plant pictures and some sort of garden bulbs and these beautiful this robin illustration it's from a vintage book and there's like a little weasel here a mole and then this page is an amazing eco printed page this was a bunch of roses and it printed beautifully and that's the back. And then this is a little illustration, a uh, botanical illustration. And just some more nice uh, scrapbook paper. And an illustration of some birds. And a sweet little chipmunk. And then this is a gnome with a big mushroom on his head. And some bulbs. And this is a cyanotope of a plant and just some nice paper and this little illustration it's really sweet it's a vintage illustration of two uh, mushroom people this is eco printed paper coffee dyed paper and a little illustration of different plants and um, some French bird uh, illustration paper. And this is a little um, brown sack with a butterfly on front and a little journal card with a hawk right on inside the pocket. And over here, just some uh, botanicals, a page from the tiny seed. And then this is an envelope with a little gnome here and he's just kind of looking at a sprout. And this is a real leaf that's been Mod Podged onto the envelope. And inside we have a journal card. And this is an original image from the gnome book, the vintage gnome book. Um, and it's like a little um, pig candle. Um, it, it has sort of like a legend uh, within the book that they talk about like just different belongings of gnomes different things that they own. 
and this is um, about borage. And a page from the tiny seed. And the other side of that sack with this lovely little bird and leaf. And inside we have a journal card. And this gnome is just uh, feeding a bunch of his woodland friends. And another botanical image. Some bird paper. Lots of botanical images because gnomes are very much woodland creatures. And some more eco-printed plant paper. And this is graph paper with an image of pine cone. More of the cyanotope. Some more spring flowers and little birds. And another little chipmunk friend and a skunk. I'll just move this up so you can see the skunk. And then just some dyed paper. And this is um, coffee dyed and then cabbage dyed watercolor paper. And this is um, an image uh, or a series of images of feathers, bird feathers. some botanicals and this is a belly band with a couple of gnomes in these seashells and inside is a card uh, this is made from original vintage gnome book um, imagery they talk about um, how they get uh, protein from plants and this is like an old ledger paper or graph paper and then we have this really funny Canada goose that I just kind of had to include because she was so cute. And another vintage bird card and some lovely paper. And then here we have a, a bird in sort of a soaring down stance. And then some nice pictures of some clouds and the moon. And then this hawk illustration and this is um large format encyclopedia about knots and it's been cabbage dyed and this is a jelly print and then this is one of the original pop-ups from the book the naughty book and so it still works it's very cute and um yeah i thought it would be fun to include these in the journal um, and this little guy just pops out and he's very sweet. This little, um, sort of, there we go, straighten his head up. This little kangaroo. <laughs> it's kind of the tale of Noah's Ark, but um, not exactly. And that's another jelly print and it's gold. I'm not sure if you can see the luster and the, but it's really pretty. And this is some nice dyed paper cabbage dyed paper, more of the knots, and a little fish. And then this is an illustration um, from a nature book. And this lovely illustration of these little gnome people. And on this side we have a large pocket and there's this lovely gnome riding on the back of a bird and inside are a couple things. So there are two journal tags. One is a gnome in, uh, in a winter scene inside his toadstool home and um, the other one is about gnome children and the songs that they sing. Ladybug, ladybug, fly away home. This just says 1973. It's just some old graph paper. And here we have a side pocket with a bird and music paper. And inside is this uh, journal card with a gnome family in their kitchen. And down here is some blackberries. And then cabbage and coffee dyed papers. And then this is the final back page. Um, so this is from like a vintage 
game that I found that was really interesting. It was some kind of a European um, little box kind of puzzle and game. And uh, this is from the box itself and it was really cute. And then inside, well, the back here is original gnome book um, paper. And then there is this um, journal tag that's also from the original book. And it has this little pine cone here. And it talks about how gnomes use pine cones as roofing tiles on their small buildings. So it's pretty cute. And this is actually eco dyed um, silk fabric that I dyed myself. So lots of little personal touches in my journals as always. And so that wraps up this one. Um, I will be posting it in my Etsy shop probably, if not today, tomorrow. Um, it will get, it will go there. There's already a couple of gnome journals in my shop. Um, probably the more, the larger, sort of more extravagant ones are the ones that I'm posting first. And then I'll have um, a few smaller, like slightly more simplistic ones later on in the week. Like I know people like all different kinds of journals, all different sizes of journals, all different prices. So that's sort of what I'm doing is just making like the journal for everybody. <laughs> and so, yeah, well, I will leave you with a little hello from a gnome that I made several years ago. And um, I hope you have a really beautiful day. Thanks for watching and check out the description box for all of my social media. Subscribe to me here and uh, click the little notification bell to see when I make new videos. Have a good one. Bye. <laughs>